looking at this soybean number, 86 million acres, record number of acres, but you're not talking record production. Uh, no, we got to keep in mind for corn, we're going to drop acres a little bit here. But as far as yield, we're going to turn to normal yield, a 165. And that does go ahead and drop the uh, production. Uh, you're looking at 822 million bushels lower than this past year. What about soybeans? And as far as soybeans, same type of story. Yes, we're going to have a higher uh, acreage issue for soybeans, record in fact, but we turn to normal yields and therefore we have production about 111 under last year. When you look at the state by state, any shockers for you? Some that are maybe moving to more soybeans or not moving to soybeans? The biggest change of all the states was no doubt North Dakota. In fact, we love our survey because we have a very active branch office who gives us a lot of surveys out of North Dakota. Uh, they said very clearly a lot less corn and they're moving into beans and spring wheat. Spring wheat. So looking at wheat overall, uh, what are you guys thinking for 2015? As far as wheat acreage, yes, USDA told us previously a 1.9 million acre drop out of winter wheat. But as far as spring, we were surprised by the very intense numbers. They told us a return of about 1.5 million acres for spring wheat. Any other states that had a huge swing of some more soybeans? And as far as the main states, no, they're not a big change here. I will point out that the main core states, Iowa, Illinois, Nebraska, lower corn, more beans here as well. Hmm. Now, you know, we talked to some of the farmers that said, you know, we're really undecided at this point. So how do you factor the undecided into, into uh, a report like this? We do have to consider that, yes, these numbers are preliminary, and they will change, no doubt, within two months here. Uh, and, of course, weather and price changes can make those type of influences here. We're seeing this demand.